can start now sir yes ma'am thank you so much good evening my dear students you are all are once again welcome to the questionnaire session today we are going to discuss the remaining part of the question in biology see the first question 51 see the diagram already in oral but so many times already you can see it in the book so many question paper also isn't it my identify the animal a and name the phylum to which it belongs to b like that they asked the questions see the option is the see the structure of the this one okay first of all you should note note it down what are the example has given knee is knee is nothing but the you know what about the leech isn't it my dear knee is nothing but the leech okay so both are leech this is not a leech so these two it will not come Balano glasses is the correct answer, right? Next, next one is said uh, uh, the B option is cephalocardita. Cephalocardita, it will not come because hemicardita, otherwise called a semicardita. Okay, semicardita, otherwise called as hemicardita. Whatever it may be, because that's uh, uh, <coughs> now cord is present in the only in the tail part only below the part only. That's why it is called as what is that? You know, hemicardita. Not a cord present in where you know in the lower part of the tail only. So this part only, what happened? You know that not a cord is present. Not a cord is present. Okay, my dear. Not a cord is present. That's why partially semi means off only. So that is the reason, my dear students. So the answer is which one is the the first one. Other three is all wrong. So the identify the animals which one is also belong to the family. Belano glasses. See the animals is called as belano glasses, and also comes under the phylum. They ask the phylum. It's a higher division. Okay, higher division of which one you know animal. Don't forget, my dear. This is also some time they were asked the question. Divisions. Okay, phylum is a higher division of animal classification. Animal classification. Okay, don't forget. So the answer is which one you know? The A is the correct option. What are the next one is? See that balana glasses, hemicordata. Balana glasses belong to the phylum hemicordata. The animal in this group are also called as acron worms. It is a type of a what is a worms? Okay, my dear. Don't forget this one is also very very important. So it's one of the acron worms. Someday they may ask the question. The balana glasses also a yeah? type of which type of worms like that? Ascaricus nematodes like that. They may ask the questions. What are the next questions? Largest gland in the body of man. Just listen here. These are the things. Is there? Just to see it. Very very simple question. This one simple. Okay, simple question, my dear. So liver. Already you know the weight. Then only you can come to the conclusion. Liver. It has a one point five kg. Pancreas, gastric glands, adrenal is also a very less number. Less. So this is also a very simple question and also direct question. So the answer is which one you know? Liver is the highest one. It's the largest organ. Okay, don't forget, my dear students. This is very very important. So many times they were asked the questions. The liver it contain how many kilogram? One point five kg. See the option. The liver is the largest gland in the human body. It is also the largest internal organ. First of all, in our body, and can weight up to two one point five kg for the human adult. Human adult, how much is the one point five? All the physiological, enzymatic activities, synthesis, biosynthetic pathway, okay, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, all those things which occurs in this area only. Which one you know the liver, okay. Don't forget, my dear. This is very, very important. Very, very important. 
okay and one more is that which one is the okay biggest organ in our body here largest gland they asked isn't it organ which one is that no just imagine skin is the organ skin is the largest organ in the body so this is very very this is largest gland is the liver and the largest organ they ask no skin don't forget organ okay go to the next one which hormone cause strong uterine contraction during postration postration nothing but the childbirth during childbirth which hormone is essential childbirth okay the uterine contraction it is also relaxation also okay we train contraction sorry contraction one and they have given the option here the prolactin axitoxin relaxin inhibin okay first of all you should note it down which is very very important one you know all about that uh, oxytocin just imagine oxytocin is very very interaction but contraction co oxytocin prolactin it is only for the secreting of milk relaxin is also secreted at the time of puberty but it is not involved in the contraction of uterine contraction okay and inhibin these are not comes under its getting so oxytocin is the one this was secreted by which one you know hypothalamus okay this is very very important this is very very important see the absence the oxytocin oxytocin induces the uterine contraction in two ways oxytocin induce uterine contraction this is the question isn't it my dear this is the key word also this is the key word okay my dear so the oxytocin stimulate the release of pge what is the meaning of pge prostaglandin e and prostaglandin okay and fe f2 alpha in fetal membrane by activation of phospholipase c see that what are the activities that these are all are unknown okay made but very very important oxytocin is used for the uterine contraction of the two ways the prostaglandin stimulate the uterine contractility prostaglandin see that so oxytocin also along with the prostaglandin that is also very very important but here the question is oxytocin is the uterine contraction main one it is also your hypothalamus makes oxytocin but your posterior pituitary gland store and they release it in your blood stream where is the secretion is there hypothalamus okay but where is the storage process is there so see here the posterior pituitary gland stores and release it in your blood stream so this is also very very important oxytocin is also secreted by hypothalamus storaging is where is that posterior pituitary okay and the brain brain so don't forget my dear go to the next one is which one of the following was having least cranial capacity don't forget my dear here least cranial capacity definitely the question is that my dear in this part definitely the question need 2023 okay my dear see the ramapathicus what will be the capacity homo hapilis what will be the capacity neanderthal man see here 1452 so much 250 like that okay 25 like that so it is also similar to that of the uh, uh, recent man recent human being australopithecus here the confusion is where you know these two are normally it is high compared to this one one and four only the complication okay ramopithecus it has a cranial capacity up to the level of 500 to 600 cc see the solution you can see the uh, see the ramapithecus australopithecus is also having the same uh, options see here the ramapithecus was the about 500 to 600 cc okay and then the last one is got as australopithecus is in the fourth option the australopithecus their kernel capacity is 422 550 so the option is which one you know these two it will be comes okay The other is Homo habilis. Homo habilis had a brain capacity about 700 to 800 cc. 700 to 800 cc. Australia pithy because 400 cc. Okay. And then the Homo neanderthalis. 
where is it neanderthal man 1400 the granule capacity gradually increases just imagine so you must note it on which one is the first one so 400 cc 650 900 1500 sorry 400 and 1600 homo sapiens here recent man recent human what is that being okay the capacity it will be like this okay maximum capacity this much maximum 1450 is the homo neanderthal means recent means also similar to that of the structures neanderthal man right this one both are similar so slight variation only the capacity will be cubic okay my dear this is very very important question my dear students need don't forget definitely it will be there right go to the next one is 55 the expiration expiration is a passive process expiration is passive process and relaxation of diaphragm external intercostal muscles causes increasing in the intrapulmonary pressure see the concept so both are interrelated or not related this one intercostal muscles and diaphragm these are all are very very important respiration this part is called as respiration isn't it my dear lungs you can take an example lungs this part expiration is a passive process is the correct one relaxation of diaphragm the external intercostal muscles causes the increase in the intrapulmonary pressure it is also correct it is also correct explanation also so the answer is the first one when it uh, coordination of the two statements assertion reasons also two statement also uh, interlinked means that is correct only you can imagine that is the key option key option key answer options okay okay maybe don't forget go to the next one see the both assertion reasons are true the uh, reason is correct explanation of the assertions exhalation is a passive process what is the many passive? What is the many of active? Because of the elastic property of the lungs, that is called as passive process. Elastic property. Which one? Lungs, it has elastic property. Then contraction of diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles occurring deem inspiration. These muscles relax during expiration, which lead to decrease in volume of lungs and thus increase the intrapulmonary pressure. So this is the key bad. This is the key word, my dear. Okay. Increase the intrapulmonary pressure is the correct one. Relax during the expiration, lead to the decrease the volume of lungs. Decrease the volume of lungs. So that's why I told you need question. Selection of question is very, very important, my dear students. Okay. Choose the add one. First of all, you should see their structures. It's two chairs. Ball and socket, hinge, gliding. See, these three are considered the getting known joints. What is that? These are all are considered. These three are considered the getting known joints. So, automatically, odd one, which one you know? Stutures. This one. See the structure? Awesome. Stutures. Also known as stitches. Sorry. Also known as stitches. Or sterile surgical thread used to repair cuts. Okay, this is called a stretches. Okay, my dear, don't forget. Ball and jacket, kinch and gliding, all are, what is that? Joints. So, the option is which one, you know, add one. A is the correct option. Next one is given diagram. Just listen here carefully. This is also sometimes they ask the question, diagrammatical question. But exactly the question, it will not be there. It may be some modification. For example, here given is a, these are other glands, isn't it? This one is what? This one is what? This one what? This one what they ask, isn't it? Instead of this one, they may ask the brain. Where is the hypothalamus, thalamus, pons, pons, okay, aqua regina, what regina? Okay. And also uh, um, hindbrain, midbrain, sorry, forebrain, uh, midbrain, hindbrain, like that. They may ask a question like that. In the same diagram, the option it will be very. Here, see the question. Give is the sewing location and the association of the few endocrine glands. Okay, where is the pineal gland? Is there? First one is pineal gland. Here, the pineal gland is the 
No, this one is called as what is that? What is that? Okay. Pancreas, where is it? Thymus, where is it? Adrenal medulla, where is it? Okay. So, a corresponding option is there. Corresponding option. See, the pancreas just denoted as the sugar metabolism. Just read the question. Pineal, humoral immunity, no. Okay. Thymus, calcium metabolism, no. Pancreas, sugar metabolism, yes, correct one. Adrenal medulla, secondary sexual character for female. Okay. So, read the question carefully, attach with the, correlate with the, which one you know, diagram. So, the second part or third part, third part just to see the structure. This is called as what is the pancreas, followed by which one you know, the gallbladder is also there, gallbladder, isn't it? So, the option is third one is the correct answer, my dear. Okay, go to the next one. See the structures. So, this one is a question uh, uh, part. This is the question diagram, questionnaire diagram. Okay, question part. This one is answer part. See, the first one is the, which what is that? Where is it? Thyroid and parathyroid gland. Question they have given pineal gland. Okay. See this one. And second one is called as thymus gland. This one is called the thymus gland. Are they given? Thymus only, but it is not involved for the calcium metabolism, only used for the thymus P liposide production. Okay. Third one, see it. This is pancreas. Okay. See the pancreas structure. Last one is adrenal. Okay. This one is what is adrenal. But the pancreas mostly involved in which one you know? Carbohydrate metabolism, otherwise called sugar metabolism only. Adrenal medulla, secondary sexual character is not possible, particularly the female. Estrogen secretion it will be possible. Okay, marriage. Eh? Male has given. Okay, anyhow, so this is the correct option, my dear students. Okay, don't forget. Pancreas only used for the sugar metabolism. That is the correct option. Okay, listen here. Loose connective tissues is loose connectivity. See the question paper. Bone is here, blood is here, cartilage is here. Blood is a liquid connective tissues. Bone and cartilage is here. What is that? Connectivity is hard and areolar tissue is the loose connective tissues. So, the answer is this one. This is a direct question. See the option. The loose connective tissues is also known as areolar tissues. It is a cellular connective tissues with thin and relative sparse collagen fiber. Areolar tissues also contain one of the protein fiber. That protein fiber is called as what is the collagen don't forget my dear students universal protein what is the universal protein don't forget my dear once they ask the question universal protein collagen the collagen is made up of the chemical composition of the collagen chemical composition okay my dear chemical composition chondroitin sulfate see guys o n d r i D and Conradian sulfate. So, this is also once they ask the question. Conradian sulfate. Universal protein, universal enzyme, universal enzyme. Listen here, baby. Enzyme, listen carefully. Universal enzyme, ribisco. And at the same time, enzyme is also made up of protein, isn't it, my dear? The universal enzyme in biosphere, they ask you now, universal enzyme, enzyme, okay, enzyme in biosphere, listen carefully, biosphere, total, so Ribisco is the answer. Sometimes they ask, not only the enzyme, universal protein like that, in the biosphere, they ask, no, Ribisco, the answer, Ribisco is the correct answer. Why? Because enzyme is made up of, which one, you know, protein. Okay, so that is the reason, my dear. So, so don't forget, this is all extra points, extra points. Definitely the question will be that. So, here the loose connective tissue is areola. It is made up of the protein molecule is called as collagen. Okay, my dear. Other three points is also we have discussed. Next one is. See that, match the column 1 and 2 and select the correct option. Okay, see this one. Mixin, 
Mixin is nothing but the one of the uh, fish. Cyclose tomato is the correct one. Mixin a Y and the cyclose tomato it has a Y. See the second letter Y here. Second letter is what is the Y here? Cyclose tomato is Y. So the option is one is B. Where is the one is B here? The, here, this one. Apidotides. So the option is A. Okay, my dear. And flies, felis. Okay, felis means what is the you know cat family, big cat or whatever it may be. big cat. Felides. Cat means what is that? What are the things? Is lion, tiger. Okay, and also cheetah. And the last one is cat. Normal domestic cat also. Domestic cat. These are all a big cat. These are all a domestic cat. Cat. These are all a comes under getting felis. So. Just to note, you know, these are all our mammals. Okay, my dear. Mammals. Mammals. Last one already, you know, so sulfur is a eurocardita. Don't forget, my dear student. Definitely. Neat question. So the option is second is the correct option. Mixin is a cyclos tomato. It's a round mouth. Round mouth. Fish. Hackfish. Hackfish. F I S H. Okay. See the option. The mix in cyclos tomato. See the mixin is the genus of catfish. Apentotides used. Felized mammals. Already have given, given so many examples. Tiger, lion. Sulfa is a uracordata. Okay. That thing is also very, very important, my dear student. What is the next? See the diagram. <clears throat> they have asked the question A and B and C. Okay. A and sorry, A and B and C. For the given diagram, which labeling the function correctly matched, described, they ask the questions. See this part already in our this is called as what is that? A is called as what is that? You know, B is called as what is that? You know, C is called as what is that? Okay. Here, which one is correctly matched? This A is phobia. Which one is phobia? A is phobia. Fraud or densely packed. Is it correct? Here? No. Blind spot, no image formed. Which one is that? B. This part is this space is called a blind spot. Okay. When the object is fallen in the what is that? The lens, and then this one is called a which humor. Aqua schema, this one is called as vitro schema. Okay. After that, what happened? You know, it's also directly formed to the diary. Here or here? Here only, isn't it? Optic nerves, it's also converted into which one? You know, the images look like this one, you know. It will be reached up to the inverted manner. Finally, what happened? You know, converted. Here also the inverted manner will become. It was. Tan into the original position by the optic nerves and also transfer to the brain. Okay. So the option is which one, you know, the correct option is the blind spot, no image is formed. Blind spot, that's why it is called as blind spot. Others are wrong. Correctly matched only the option. See the option, you can identify the. See, the, this is the question part. Okay. Question part. AI is called as which one in this part? Macula, otherwise called as. What is it? Phobia is not here. Macula, that's also phobia. Both are same. Okay. And then this part is, is you see that this part, where is it? In this part, isn't it, my dear? Optic disc, optic disc and nerve, and optic nerve is here. Okay. So this is the part. Comparison between these two, just clearly, I used to times that. Identified. How many layers is present? There are three layers. Is there. What are the layers? Conjectiva, cornea, and also see that choroid, choroid layer, retina layer. Okay. And what are the uh, uh, lens? Lens is also made up of one of the protein molecule and clearly visible. Viscous fluid is also present in it. Lens, double disc shape. And also the muscles, also ciliary bodies. It can be used for the what is the tanning of lens. We can see it. Pupils. Lens, people all over the light. Okay, my dear. Conjectiva, sclera, okay, optic district also, optic nerves, 
macula, retina, choroid. Choroid and these are the layer. Iris, iris allow the light, intensity of the light. It can allow the light, how much it will be entered inside the eye. So the option is to be, is a, what is that? Blind spot, the no image is formed in this part. That is the correct answer. The next one is very, very important, my dear students. Next one is the mechanism of vision action potential is developed at vision actions. Okay. Where is it? Pigment layer of retina? No. Vision action, it will not. Pigment layer of the retina. Photo receptor cell. Photo means light. Receptor receiving cells. And conglionic layer. Okay, conglionic layer is the correct answer. Optic nerve already in the world. So, yeah, the vision action potential was developed by which one? You know, the ganglionic layer only. Okay, and one more is there. What is my scopotopic vision? Scopotopic vision. Vision is also there. Take an example so owls. Owls, they can see only the dark night. Isn't it, my dear? Okay. And sometimes uh, we are seeing the uh, nearest object as well as the longest object. The eye is also, what is that? Adjusted. That is called the scopotopic vision. Okay, my dear. We are seeing that uh, system. At the same time, we are seeing the uh, any one of the object at long stage, uh, uh, long places, you know. It, the eye is easily adjustable. That is called a scopotopic vision. At the same time, Two eyes are seeing the same image. That is also scopotopic. Different kinds of visible action is there in our eyes. It's a very miracle part. See, the action potency impulses generated in the ganglion cells are transmitted through their action, optic nerves, and visual contact area of the brain. Finally, what happened? Receive the impulse from the eye to visual in the optic nerve, the optic nerve transfer visual contact to area to the brain. Brain is analyzed. Oh, this one is uh, which one you know, pencil or bull or red color like that. It can be identified and also reflected. Find out the incorrect statement. What is the meaning of incorrect statement? Otherwise called as wrong statement. Isn't it? Made? This one is called as wrong statement. Okay. See this one. Anaphylactic shock so severe allergy. Anaphylactic, yes. Anaphylactic. Already we studied this one. Shock shows severe al allergy. Yes. HIV selectively infect and kill the helper of T cell. Yes, definitely. T cell is what is that? Killed by the HIV. It easily binds with the T helper receptor. Then only what happened? Time is they will not produce the lymphocytes. The T lymphocytes it will not produce. So the immunity power is lost. And glycosporin GP120 of HIV is complementary to GT8. Okay. Complex of immune system. It is not a it is not a correct one. It is an incorrect statement. And in IDDM antibodies are formed against beta cell of Langerhans islets. What is it by IDDB? What is it? Insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. Not panic. Just to note it down this point. Insulin dependent diabetes, diabetes mellitus. Okay, my dear. So this is the first letter. A D D P. Sometimes they may ask the question expandable. Okay, like that. The beta cell of Langerhans. This is also correct one. Which one is the wrong statement? No, third one is the wrong statement. See the option. The glycosporin GP HIV is complemented to CD8 complex is immune system is the wrong, incorrect statement. Correct statement. These are the correct statement. Okay. Go to the next one. Given below two statement is there. Given below two statement is there. Okay. The first statement, cockroach eyes consist of several omatidia. Just imagine. I already told you, hexagonal shape of omatidia present in several omatidia. The structure, it will be like this. Just to see the eye. Okay. The diagram, it will be like this. These are all, each one, it consists of omatidium. So, this one, 
So they receive the several images and object. Each one, each moment it receives the different image. That's why I told you mosaic, which word now? Mosaic vision. So the mosaic vision also continues. So the both the reasons, correct only. The moment it gives a mosaic vision. Okay, present the cockroach uh, with more sensory but less resolution. This is also a blur, uh, uh, blundering image. Okay, blundering. Blend, blending image or blending image. What is it? Okay, it is not a clear vision. Clear, clear vision. It is not because the presence of raw material. So both the statements are correct. Where is that? Both statement one and statements are incorrect. So the option is wrong. Incorrect. Option is wrong. Correct. Statement one is incorrect. So it will not come. So the option is lost. One is the correct option. Okay. Oh, material. Note it down, my dear student. This is very, very important. Mostly present the cockroach only. It has a mosaic vision. Why it is a, it has a mosaic vision? Because the presence of oh, material. Okay. Don't forget. It, in front of the antennae. In front of the antennae, the cockroach. Okay. Like this. Don't forget. The both statement one and statement two are correct only, my dear. Which of the following incorrect statement? Note it down, my dear. Incorrect means wrong statement. Okay, major. Which one is the wrong statement? See that. Okay. An average 1,100, 1,200 of blood filter by the kidney per minute. Yes, exactly correct, my dear. Note it down this much value. Take a notes, my dear. Kidney, how many, uh, how much amount of blood each and every minute filtered? 1,100 to 1,200 ml. It's a correct one. Okay. Next, vasa recta is absent or highly reduced in the cortical nephrons. Yes, it is also a correct one. And the next one is gla. What is my GFR? Glomerula, glomerula filter rate. Glomerulus. Okay. More or less filter rate. Okay, majors. Glomerula. G L O M E R L U L A R glomerular filter rate that is called as G F R. It's a healthy individual approximately 125 ml per minute. Did listen here, these two are very, very important. This is also a correct. The last one already, which one is these three correct means last one is the wrong one. It's automatically it becomes injection in two. Decrease the glomerular blood pressure. No, it increases the glomerular filter rates. But that is the point. So this is the wrong answer. The absence is the fourth one is the correct answer. Angiotensin two degrees the glomerular blood pressure is the wrong one because angiotensin two being powerful also constrictor increase the glomerular blood pressure and thereby glomerular filter rate increase. Okay, media. For the next one, consider the following four statement A and D. The select the option which include and the correct station. The coronary heart disease is simply called the CAD. There are so many. What is that? Option has given CAD, short form. Coronary heart disease, often referred to as the atherosclerosis. Okay. This is called as what is that? Correct statement or wrong statement? Here they ask the correct statement. So, atherosclerosis is not a coronary heart disease, artery disease. That is called as a wrong statement. Okay. Heart failure means when the heart muscles are suddenly damaged by an inadequate blood supply. No. Heart failure means high blood pressure lead to the heart diseases. Is it correct or not? Fourth one is the correct answer. A and C and D is the correct one. Coronary heart disease. That's why I confused. Coronary artery disease often referred to as the atherosclerosis is the correct answer. Nobody answered me. That's the reason. A is the correct answer. Okay, heart failure, it's not like that. Correct answer only they asked, isn't it? High blood pressure lead to the heart disease. Definitely also affect the vital organ of the brain and kidney. This is also correct. So A and C are correct. Where is the A and C? The last one. Angina occurs due to the condition that affect the blood flow. Okay, which one is wrong? B only the wrong. And A, C, D is the correct answer. The option is fourth one is the correct answer. This is a confusion. Okay. 
coronary heart disease is also called as what is that atherosclerosis heart failure means when the heart muscle suddenly damaged by an inadequate blood supply inadequate sometimes what happen the blood supply will be high due to the pressure okay and high blood pressure lead to the heart disease and also affect the vital organ of the like a brain and kidney okay okay major this is not one this is the correct one. and she or no occurs due to the condition that affect the blood flow it is also correct so the a is what is that a c d is the correct b is the wrong answer so the correct option is what is that you know fourth one is the correct option see this one is the correct one this one is the wrong answer. okay major so what is the next one see pneumotaxic center is located pneumotaxic note it down my dear student this is also very very important in this part neat question this year expect the previous question also cerebrum no medulla oblongata no pons is a correct option cerebellum is not there so direct question my dear direct okay direct statement question this option is the pons the pneumotic center is located in the pons region so this is called as pons region okay this part is called as pons in this area what happen you know the pneumotic center is there okay see that region of the brain stem this is called as brain stem sometimes they may ask the question the brain stem is also connected to the spinal cord sorry spinal cord okay spinal cord it is moderate the functions of the respiratory rhythm center what is that pneumotic center is also called as respiratory rhythm center that is very very important your respiratory rhythm center is also called as what is that pons don't forget my dear students okay so this is very very important which, which line is located in the center of h region where is the h region muscles contraction h region is where is in the muscles contraction okay the h it contains m line only just see the diagram you can easily identify it so this one is it not come this one is correct this one it will not come this one is correct this is also direct question and also diagram related question diagram related question see the question see the h zone is the h zone this is part jet line m line again jet line isn't it here the h zone is the okay that h zone see here this one the h zone has the m line in the middle of it jet band which is dark membrane is present at the center of each eye band okay so this is very very important this is very very important see this one lighter band darker band lighter band okay the center there is a m line don't forget my dear this this is very very important jet line as well as the m line sometimes they ask the question they ask the question this is called a jet line and also here also jet line in between there is a m line is there the zone is called as h zone the jet h zone is contain dark band air band okay in both the side dark band followed by which one a light band this part is called as light band it is called as i band note it on my dear this is very very important my dear students okay this is also a very very important okay go to the next one okay my dear see here tunica interna blood vessel is made up of tunica interna where it present tunica layer okay tunica layer just imagine this is called as interna internal part see that squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium smooth muscles white fibers connective tissue they told isn't it okay isn't it so these are all are comes under the headings known as uh, tissue isn't it tissues particularly squamous epithelium is the interconnected with the this one others it will not cuboidal smooth muscles white fibrous muscles see the option tunica interna tunica media tunica externa externa means outer layer middle means tunica middle means mid layer and tunica interna means inner layer see the squamous epithelium it is the inner lining of blood vessels so it comes under the heading known as what is that blood vessels okay blood vessels inner layer is called as what is that 
tunar. Tunica intima alar interna. It is made up of single layer of squamous endothelial cell. Here also they have given as epithelial. Okay. So that is very, very important here. The absence of squamous epithelium is the correct one. See the 69th question. The colon is divided into four parts as ascending, transfer, descending, and sigmoid. Already you know what is the part here? Digestion. Digestion part my digestion. Absorption and digestion part. Four part is there. Yes, it's the correct one. The sigmoid part open into the rectum. Sigmoid part open into the rectum. Okay. Not is a rectum. Where is a sigmoid part open to the rectum, which open out through the anus? Okay. Which one is the correct answer? This one is not correct. Okay. But both are true, but it's not a correct reason. See here. Which one is the option, you know? The, this one. Both assessment reasons are true, but reason is not a correct explanation of the assessments. So this, it will not come. So this is also a diagrammatical question. Diagram. Just you know the diagram, then only you can answer it. Otherwise, it will not possible. So diagrammatical question, maximum 20 questions it will become. Related or directly. Okay, my dear. See this one. See, this is the part. Ascending colon. Okay, this one is called as descending colon. This one is called as transfer colon. And the last one is called as sigmoid colon. So the four parts it's coming, isn't it? That's why the first part is correct. Okay, second one is what is that? You know, you know what about see that the sigmoid colon is the part of large intestine and close to the rectum and anus form loop that averages about 35 to 40 centimeters. Put it into 16 length. The loop is typically shaped like a Greek letter sigma, this one, sigma, this one, okay, this part. Latin letter, okay, and also thus sigmoid. The option is which one, you know, second is the correct answer. Both the assertion reasons are two, but the assertion is not exactly. See here, this one. This is very, very important, my dear student. This is, okay, this is all, <laughs> excuse me, very, very important. A person is having an autoimmune disorder, autoimmune disorder, which target alpha cell, alpha cell, alpha cell where it comes, islets of Langer and pancreas. So the alpha cell secret, which one you know, glucogon, okay, which person suffer from DAS as a DAS hormone is less split, identify A and B. The glucogon already, you know, what glucogon is also here, which one? Hypoglycemic effect or hyperglycemic effect. Okay. Hypoglycemic effect. So, I see that what glucocon comes. Okay. Automatic hypoglycemic. So, the option is that one. Okay. How it will be there? Possible. Suppose, for example, take an example blood. When you are taking food, okay, taking food, eh? automatically it was absorbed by the small intestine. 90% of the absorption takes place in small intestine, 10% in the large intestines. Isn't it, my dear? By it will lie. Okay. Then it's also entered into the blood. So the blood glucose level is increases. When the blood glucose level is increases, blood glucose level is increased. So automatically, the alpha beta cell, what happens is secret the insulin. Okay. So it acts upon the glucose molecules. So it is called as hyperglycemic effect. See that? Insulin is a hyperglycemic effect. Okay. Blood glucose is increased. That is increased means higher. Hyper. Then what happened? Insulin, what they will do? The blood glucose. Okay. Glucose converted into glycogen by the action of the beta cell insulin. Okay. That is called as hyper hyperglycemic effect. Blood glucose increases automatically. The insulin secret. That's why it acts upon the glucose by higher concentration. Store in the liver. Okay. Then what happens now? When you are not eating any food, so that time how, it, how will you get the energy? Means the once storage of the glycogen converted into glucose by the action of alpha cell. Okay. That's why the glucose level is decreased where in the blood. 
so the hypoglycemic what happen automatically glucagon secrete it act upon the glycogen the glucose is released that's why it is called as what is that hypoglycemic effect glucagon the answer is third one is the correct option okay go to the next one hypoglycemic glucagon glucagon is a hormone that raises blood glucose level is used to treat severe sars a hypoglycemia glucagon is taken that's why that hypoglycemia is a autoimmune disease so that time what happened you have to supply of glucagon what happened automatically glucagon is taken as a spray into the nose or an injection administered under the skin okay this is the what is that injection of the glucagon hypoglycemia hypoglycemic hormone okay don't forget my dear this is very very important very very important next one see the structure already in our but which one is there no hiv yes see the structure is f they told this one is what this one is what this one is what this one is what already in our but it is nothing but the retrovirus isn't it my dear outer layer is made up of glycoprotein as well as lipoprotein inside there is a single stand of the rna molecule is also there already so many time I'll, i i told you as we can see it in the diagrammatically questions okay see that first option is that zero glycoprotein 120 where is that a glycoprotein 120 yes correct another glycoprotein here so the option is here only not gp41 gp41 where is that you know this one is called as glycoprotein 41 now see where is it done glycoprotein 41 glycoprotein so these two are correct only a and c are correct isn't it and then b p24 here p17 protein glycoprotein here the protein molecule is there where is that b see this one is called as okay maximum which one is present in 17 only present in it sorry 17 only present okay so so these three are correct and protein 24 where is it d so this one is called as protein 24 inner core covering inner covering outer correct covering is the gp41 inner covering is called as 24 okay then lipoprotein is there okay e is lipoprotein this one is called as lipoprotein and the last one is called a single standard rna where is that single standard here the double standard r dna they have so hiv always in our but the single standard rna only present in so the option is which one is then automatically in our hiv this one double standard it will not come single standard rna it will come so the option is glycoprotein to you 220 where is the two option only the glycoprotein 120 okay so this one it will not come because it's a dna molecule so rna molecule is this one is called as rna with the help of reverse transcriptase enzyme reverse how many copies two copy don't forget both single standard rna is also two copy and also reverse transcription also here what is that reverse transcriptase rtc also two copy don't forget my dear the outermost glycoprotein 120 innermost glycoprotein what is that that things also given here this is very very important my dear student don't forget see the structures see the structure a is here the glycoprotein 120 so the first one okay and b is where is it okay b is where is it here see this part center okay see this one 70 this part and where is the c in this part in this part c okay glycoprotein 41 is there in this part okay likewise you have to compare first of all you should not even glycoprotein 120 140 glycoprotein 41 is the main one protein is 17 and 24 lipoprotein and also single standard rna two copy reverse transcription is two copy these are the things in there okay my dear other component is also integrase p32 also that they didn't give here but p32 is also there okay my dear p10 is also protease single standard rna mhc protein reverse transcription p64 they have given they, they didn't give in this question other option is also there other answer other what is that may ask the question like that other than this okay my dear go to the next one next one see the option 
Okay. See the option. Okay. In the given process, identify A, B, C, and D. See the spermatogonia means sperm productions. Starting where you know spermatogonia. So the sperm productions. See the spermatogonia first is taking place, which you know mitosis. First automatically in our mitosis takes place. Already know already about where is the mitosis? The first one mitotic, no, meatic. So it will not come. Mitosis differentiation. It may be possible. Okay. It is not the answer. It is a possible. So it is an answer. Okay. See the second one. Mitosis differentiation. Yes, mitosis comes here. Also, mitosis. So the B and C and D only the absent. Isn't it, my dear? See, next one. The primary spermatozoa is also undergo the uh, first meiosis. Where is the first meiosis? Here the second meiosis is given. So it is not absent. This one is called as first meiosis. Second meiosis. And the last one is called as what is that? Differentiation. This is option. Correct option only. Where is that? First meiosis. Meiosis. Second meiosis they are having here. The first meiosis, so this one is not come, isn't it? So the option B is not there. The third one is first meiotic, second meiotic difference. So the option is C. Here, see that first meiotic, second meiosis, spermiosis they have given. Okay, so it is not absent. So the third one is the option. Exactly correct option is what is that? Third one. See the question. This is this is the question part. This is the option. Spermatogonia, this here the spermatogonium is there. It is also diploid nature. Sometimes they may ask the question. Diploid is spermatogonia is contained which one which type is two end stage, diploid. Undergo the mitosis. Mitosis means what happened automatically the diploid cell is also produced. Again, this is also primary spermatosol, also diploid needs. Undergo the meiosis means what happened off, half, reduction. Don't forget. So it may be divided into two, two n divided into single n, single n. Undergoes another meiosis. Again, what happened? N, 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 N. So the four haploid spam. So the sperm spams produce when after second meiosis undergo the differentiation, then only you will get the mature. What is a MATU or immature sperm? After 64 days only. Maturation of the spam is also 64 days. These are the extra point, my dear student. This is the sequence. A is denoted as a mitosis. B is denoted as a meiosis 1, C is denoted as a meiosis 2, D is denoted as a differentiation. At the same time, here the 2 n stage, here the 2 n stage, meiosis started means off. So here the n stage, here the n stage. How many spermatozoa found? Four spermatozoa. Don't forget, my dear, this is a neat question in this part. 2023, we may expect in this part. Anaxity and eating spicy food together. Spicy food means, you know, about what is my spicy? Okay. In an, a normal human may lead to diarrhea, vomiting, indigestion, and jaundice. Diarrhea is not possible. Vomiting is not possible. Indigestion is possible. Jaundice is not possible. So the option is, which one you know? Third one. Go to the next one. See that anaxia and eating spicy food together in an otherwise normal human may lead to indigestion. Don't forget, my dear student. Suppose we are eating one bucket biryani, one plate biryani. What happened? You will not digest immediately because that type, that much of enzymes not secreted by your body. Saliva per day, 1.5 liter. Urine, 1.5 liter. Okay. Don't forget, my dear student. These are also. Okay, maximum ability, maximum. Your, your kitty is also filter 1.100, 1100 to, you know, very about. How many liters blood per minute is this one? And one more is how many, uh, how much amount of blood also enter in the heart and kidney also. You note it down, these are the extra points. You just go and check it, your answer also. Kidney per second, how much is there? Per minutes or second, whatever it may be. Go to the next one. Among the following, which is known as a seahorse. Seahorse, a zoological name, they asked the question. Zoological name. This is a direct question, my dear. Direct. You must know. Known, known answer means you can answer it. You can. Otherwise, you will not answer it. Direct question. Exocortus, clarius, hippocampus, hippocampus. Okay. Terophyllum. 
tero phylum. So the option is which one you know? Hippocampus. Suppose if you know the uh, what is the zoological name of which one you know? Seahorses, hippocampus. Then only you answer it. Otherwise, it will be complicated. Complicated. You know what? Exocoitus means which one animal? Chloris, which one? Which this one? So hippocampus is the dark person. See the hippocampus is the seahorse. Seahorse genus hippocampus, also spelled seahorse, any of about 50 species of the marine fishes allied in pipe fishes in the family Syncantidae, order Castro Chiformes. Okay, different name has given. And the last question today, my dear students, the assertion that descending limb of loop Henley make filter is a hypotonic where the as ascending limb makes hypotonic. Hypotonic, which one you know? Descending limb, ascending limb, hypotonic. Okay. Yes, it is a correct answer. I will explain how it will be. Is the correct answer. Okay, next one is automatically you know about the others. Explain is also see that these, these are interlinked. Descending limb is permeable for water while ascending limb is per, uh, what, permeable sodium chloride. Yes, it is also correct. So the answer is also correct. So the reason is also correct. Okay, so the option is the correct one here. So when the uh, uh, two statements are interlinked, uh, descending, ascending, like that, you know, that is the keyword. Keyword. Okay, my dear. Don't forget. Forgets. See the option. The both assertion and reasons are true, but the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion. Descending limb of loop Henle is permeable of water, but not in to sodium. Listen here. Descending limb. What is happening now? Permeable to water, but not sodium. Water molecules also allow. So as a result, what happened now? What happened? Consequently, water move out into the intestine. And concentration of the sodium is tubular filter rise, making filter hypertonic. Inside, what happened? A water molecule from out. This is called as. This is what is as. Uh, what is that? What is that? Descending. This one is descending. Okay. This one is called as ascending. Isn't it? Ascending. Descending, ascending. Okay. Here, what happened? You know, water molecule, what happened? You know, eliminated from outside, inside to outside. Here, the sodium, what happened? The concentration will be high means that is hypertonic. Ascending limb, what happened? Ascending limb of loop handle is impermeable to water. It will not allow the water. So, what happened you know, here? Automatically. Impermeable to water, but permeable to sodium and make the filter hypotonic. Here the water molecules, here the, here the solution is what is that? Hypertonic. The water is higher here, isn't it? Water is, it comes out. Okay. By here, not allowed, mean what happened in automatically. The solution, water molecule present here only. So that condition is called hypotonic. See the option? This is a concept. See the option? Wants it. Water molecules also outside, it comes outside. So automatically the water molecules is what happening here. Less. So the tonic solution is hyper. The salt concentration will be very high in nature. Isn't it, my dear? Water molecules removed means okay, that the salt concentration will be very high. That is called as hypertonic. Okay. At the same time, descending limb, what happened? Sodium chloride it comes, means water out of concept is how it will be there. Hypotonic. So opposite of which one you know? Descending limb. This is ascending limb. So this is the eh, what happened, you know, inside the Bowman capsule. This is the structure. This one is called as descending limb. This one is called ascending limb. Okay. This part we have U lip, hairpin bend. Okay. The cortex, medulla, this is afferent, afferent, Bowman capsule, okay, proximal tubules, all those things, like glomerular filter is also there, okay, drop, 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 getting the urination, urine formation takes place here. Okay, my dear, so this is the part, my dear students, the remaining thing we will see the next class, my dear students, that's all about today class. Thank you so much, be practice it in so many times, please spend for at least six hours per day, my dear students. Bye, take care.
and good night thank you ma'am thank you sir